Hey y'all, here's a quick video on my Peaceful Meadow Speed build. This is before I made it into a theme park and this is after what it looked like. My goal was to make it very symmetrical. As you can see, this is the speed part. I wanted to show you how I put each piece down instead of like a fast forward version of me building it. So that way it would give you a little bit easier of a concept if you wanted to use this for inspiration to kind of help you build your theme park, especially if you want to do it in the peaceful meadow. I was able to put things pretty even on both sides of my castle. Um, uh, I would also put some brush and some, you know, trees in the background behind to kind of make some of the, you know, the furniture and things pop. Now, the carousel, the theme park benches that you see there, the trash cans, the figment topiary, the, um, the teacups, the Dumbo ride, the Ferris wheel, all of those come from a star path. So if you did not take part of that star path, um, you will not be able to get any of these rides. The Small World Columns, I believe those were a premium shop item. Um, the carts also, the souvenir carts were also a part of that um, star path that we had. So, but that little ginger train there and the Nightmare Before Christmas carousel, those were premium shop items. They may come back in the shop again in case you haven't gotten them, so be on the lookout for those. Because right now I think they're kind of repeating a lot of the shop items right now. Um, before the next update that brings, you know, Mike and Sully to the valley. But as you can see, I tried to make it look very much like Magic Kingdom. That was the inspiration I was going for. You know, with the popcorn stands, the souvenir stands. The balloon arches, that one balloon arch um, at the Dumbo ride, I believe that was given to us for, you know, free with the code for thanking us for things. Um, here I'm doing a walkthrough. I am going to do a walkthrough, it looks like, during the day, and then I'm going to show you after this a walkthrough at night. But as I'm walking through, it is really reminding me of when I'm at Magic Kingdom. Like how you can place some of the benches and the trash cans with the trees around the little lakes in this area. Really helps it give like a little theme park Magic Kingdom vibe to me. Maybe a little Disneyland as well. But Magic Kingdom was my inspiration. Fantasyland is what I was going for. This is the Night Before Christmas carousel. That was a premium shop item. Maybe those two items will make their way back and you can do some themed park stuff. If you haven't been able to do the star path that we had a few so updates strange. ago. Those balloons there um, to the right, you can make those at the craft station. The balloon arch to the left, that can be made at a craft station. The food dispenser there, I believe that's a Wally item and it was found at Scrooge's shop. That balloon arch there, the black and white and gold, you can make that at a craft station once you gain all the materials. Um, the Pizza Planet restaurant, that was in the premium shop last week, I believe. Um, and then some of these items are from the Pixar Star Path. Also, the Buzz Lightyear or the Toy Story couches there, they were... Um, from if you got the Founders Pack, the Deluxe Edition. The gaming thing, kit system there, that was from Penelope Star, or Questline. And oh, the other items were from like Scrooge's Shop, maybe? Or it could have been part of the Pixar Star Path. I'm not, I can't really remember. But as you can see, this is very theme park inspired. And I also love the idea of putting fencing around some of the um, rides because it makes it look more finished, I believe. So if you don't have enough items to do the brick and metal fencing, you could always do with softwood the white picket fence because all you need for it is softwood to start off with if you need to start off, you know, smaller. But some of these items, especially the pathways, um, it does take a little time to get up enough to do something like this if you don't have enough yet. This little area is my valley visitors area um, where I leave treats and things like that because I do try to open my valley up 
you know, once a week or so. So if you're on PlayStation and you want to visit my Valley, make sure you like and subscribe um, because I will post those on, and I also will post those on TikTok if you ever want to visit my Valley and I post a lot of shorter videos there. And I will usually post the code on TikTok and I will post them on YouTube Shorts. And I tried to add like um, the Pizza Planet area to give like a Tomorrowland vibe is what I was going for to the right there. Um, because I wish they would add things like, you know, the People Mover, um, Test Track, something like that, so we could really make it feel like Fantasyland, Tomorrowland area. But this is my little walk through. This um, took me out, this took quite a bit of time before my theme park was a carnival in the Forest of Val, and I like this build much better. I'll be posting some more videos of some of the decorating I have done. My whole valley is complete, valley and I also have done very a lot of rooms inspired by different things so if you want to you know check those out make sure you like and subscribe to my channel I'll be posting videos of those um, as well and I kind of talk through what I did kind of like how I did this video also if you want to go follow me on TikTok I post shorter videos if you just want like a quick inspiration um, I don't really post those on YouTube shorts very much but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it